I, I, I usually do this around level 25. Well, yeah, I was kind of wondering why we weren't doing it before, but... Because uh, the longer we card. wait, the more XP we get. Yeah, but at the same time, there's you have to you have to uh, balance uh, uh, that versus convenience. Very true, and, and it's about getting it's about to get to the point where it'd be very inconvenient, so we might as well start doing it. Okay. So, this is the professionals' building. Yeah. Boop. And in here, you notice that there's a blue name here. A man by the name of Professor Deadlock. Yeah. Oh, I actually, I don't see anything there's... because the door hasn't let me in yet. In there. Okay. I, I hit a... Oh, it was the desk I was walking to. His, de his desk hadn't loaded. Yeah, I'm yeah. still waiting for the room to load, apparently. <laughs> if there's a desk there, I've not seen it yet. Yeah. It oh, just, holy it, shit. It feels like an invisible wall, yeah. It's just like, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm running into. I have that problem in the ICC. It was just a flat gray oh room gosh. for a few minutes there. Hi, Christer. Hi. Hang All on, right. stop moving. Step out so there. So talk to him? Woo. Yeah, talk to him. Eventually, he's going to give you a quest to turn him into a book. In which case, you can tell him you already have it. You're a Professor Deadlock? Okay, I'm uh, ready for the actual task. Or you can just give him the book. And, and you have a task coming. for me? Yes, but we don't do that, because we always read the quest text. Yeah, except that nobody has... Wait, am How I supposed to have know? a book? I thought I thought somebody gave you that book, like... I thought Krister or Ed gave you that book yesterday or the day before. Oh, yeah. Good thing I still have it in my inventory. <laughs> I didn't mm. put it in my bank. Oh. What's me at least? Yeah, it was Ed. I knew somebody gave it to her. I just couldn't remember who because it was Yay! kind of a blur of exhaustion. I gave him the book. Can you please tell me more about this task? I understand that you're the patient type. I will attempt to converse with you. God dang. In, <laughs> and paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. In a patient way, then. I am Professor to Joe. I'm Professor Joe Deadlock. I am loosely associated with Jame. Uh, maybe you can describe me as a freelancer of some kind. Although some of my services, the city could not have. Although without freelancer of some kind. Although some of my services, the city could not. Yeah, that's a broken sentence. Could not have been built without. I'm called when they need me. But enough about that. Now. This task is not really part of my work, or in some ways it is, but in my interest for books, it is mainly a hobby project. A hobby that has become part of my work, so to say. So your task is to do with books? Mm -hmm. The original inhabitants of the Shadowlands took great care in preserving the tradition of reading books. Naturally, preserving the books themselves was an important part of this work, and that leads me to the task I have for you. Okay, then I'm ready for the actual task. I don't think the rest of it's that important as far as I'm aware. No, although it's some very humorous reading if you read it. Okay, you I guess what is Jane? Not so much a... <laughs> um... Raises eyebrows. Shame is an abbreviation. It stands for Job Association of Metaphysical Exploration. It happens to be one of my key uh, organizations of the city and the major contributor to the construction of the portal to the Shadowlands. What's the name of your position? Err, um, looks carefully both sides before continuing. I am responsible for preserving the research of the various organizations in Job. In an agreeable way, I am one of the designers of the narrative of Job, if you see what I mean. I mean, wow, he just keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> yes, I, can't, but, but... I can't even read it as fast as he keeps pumping it out. <laughs> God. That's because he, he really doesn't want you to know. 
that he's not actually a professor. He's just the community manager. I mean, it would be quite impossible for the common man to mention the common bureaucrat to grasp for the complexity of the research we are doing here and the Shalands. And we have in part knowledge about what we're doing to be able to receive uh, continued funding. Therefore, we have a community team that I happen to be leading. We try to describe the breakthroughs and the lack of breakthroughs in a way that is comprehensible and entertaining to the masses. And we um, describe the scientists, what the uh, reaction of the masses might mean. But I'm also a scientist, honestly, for real. <laughs> yes, he's not, he's not a scientist. He's a goddamn bard. Yeah. Okay, you spooty bard. What well, is the actual task? <laughs> wall of text. Another I actually freaking exited wall out. of text. Yeah. I exited out of it a while ago and just completed the task. So you're on your own, Matt. You know, good old Charles Dickens published this work many, mainly through newspapers. All the chapters of his book first appeared in the papers one chapter at a time. And when the whole story had been told in that way, it was time to put together a book and from it. Now, the ancient people of the Shetlands also perfected this serial approach, or at least it was what they were used to. What I want you to do is for me is to collect the four chapters of Gator Okra's short story, The Mariner's Father. I have found references to it in many other books, but I have yet to find the story itself. As a reward, I promise to open up some special potential for you, and you get your NCU adjusted to allow the use of it. I know that re uh, that the redeemed might have uh, this book. You should look for them. I already have the book. You do? <laughs> well, uh, who would have thought? Let's have a look. It's in a book, <laughs> reading Rainbow. <laughs> And yes, you noticed that they gave him the visor. Or no, they gave him the glasses. <laughs> I never would have trusted you being able to find the book for me. I will now adjust your NCU to unlock part of your profession's potential. You might feel a little sting. Please stand still. And there you go. I have some questions or goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there, that's pretty much uh That's pretty, that's pretty much, much it. it. Okay, goodbye. Good luck! Bye -bye. Now, if you each shift-click on yourselves, you will notice that you now have an additional little piece of text in here that says, <coughs> Specializations, you have completed the first specialization. Hmm. That's a good thing to know, because certain nanos require certain specializations. Uh, Particularly Shadowlands Nanos. Uh, mm. Matt, if you want to come all the way down this row to the end. Look at all these fancy statues. I know, this is looking at them. It's so cool. You can talk to the keeper of IPS and open up a shop with him. Hello. And you'll see that there's a nano crystal in there called Ward. Warp? Ward. Ward. Okay. Ward, you know, like Burt Ward. You know, the guy that played Robin in the 60s yeah. Batman? Yeah. That kind of Ward. Yeah, With it's pretty D. much like a reflect uh, buff keepers. Yes, but if you notice that when you look at it, it requires the first specialization before you can put it on. Our range, quality, okay. And the high in nanos you get... It's going to require, like, secondary and the third mm -hmm. port. In fact, the, you, uh, hit, you, hit spe you hit spec 2 requirements pretty damn fast. Actually, I haven't uh, seen it yet. Also, it should be in there from what I've been told. Unless they redid these nanos, too. Which... Yeah, I don't see anything that says ward in it. Really? Nope. No. Nope. God, I looked this up in everything before we started. <laughs> well, well, they removed it to um, to um, 
fair trades, please. Oh, it's in fair trade now? You yeah. might actually have the nano then, Matt. <laughs> actually, that's a good question. Ed actually didn't buy it for me then. If, if it was in fair trade, Ed bought it. Um, yeah. According to the research I did, it wasn't in fair trade. It was up here. But Do you know what level it is? Um, I can look that up really quick. Actually, that would help I have me. it. It is quality level 39. 39? I would have equipped yeah. it by now then. Except you couldn't equip it. So I didn't buy it then. Uh, that makes no sense, but... Alright, can we just get going? Yeah, this is just wasting time yeah. now, officially. This is just sitting around in the game. Not really doing anything. Actually, I was standing. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Christopher, who was standing. Whee! That was, that was running all around. <laughs> You're gonna have to do some double research now because they've apparently changed things since so whenever that person posted how this is supposed to work because Aaron. they're not there anymore. Uh -huh. what? All right, now I'm sitting around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't wor we won't worry about that. It would have been nice to show the, the the spec requirements of a nano, but but the nanos aren't here, so moving on. We'll have to look it up later. Whoops. It's kind of like what happens when I'm trying to get, accomplish something in my Fallout playthrough, and then I have to do a little extra research at the end of the episode all well, of a sudden. We, we, have, we have to do a little more waiting in game now, because apparently my... Krister just went Link dead. No! Actually, I need to step outside to get an extra black key to have four keys. I should probably double check. We need four keys or fives? get five because we do have to go in and uh, it would be easier if we shortcutted to two mountains. I need an extra white key. <clears throat> white yeah, keys are I not have... important. Oh wait, white keys are what will, will get us to two mountains. So. Yeah, I need an extra it, white it, key and I need at least two black keys. Because we're only getting the, we're only doing uh, the unredeemed side key quest at this point because Krister of course has to be a dirty little Omni. <laughs> dirty Omni. God damn it. <laughs> you, you little cider. <laughs> cider. Oh, you can go back and get the nests. <laughs> Gosh, remember when these things actually took more than a hit? Oh. I watch your yeah. keys. Your keys. You know, that, 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 that mentality permeates this game. Uh, Ed and I were doing stuff, uh, doing a, a quest in Inferno last night, and I turned to Ed and I said, "Ed, do you remember when Inferno was frightening? Oh. Because when I first went to Inferno, I was bloody terrified. Something egged me. I was just like, ah, and I ran like a little scared bitch. Should we get the other key? Just me on the safe side. I'm making sure um, I have five of both." Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would do that if I if you guys. This is always nice. Did you leave our team? You left nah, him. I, oh, he went, you he went Link Dead. You Link Dead yeah, got kicked out of the game, of Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get the rematch. I was wondering. I wouldn't. Oh, I was wondering why you, why I couldn't, you know, loot any of the remains that you had, laying around. Found some animal parts. Yeah. Found my white key. Yay! Yeah, I've only found one of them so far. I need another one yet. And I haven't found a black key yet. Although I assume those are further in. Uh, no. They're random from each side here. All right. Well, all There's the black the ones. This, this place, this place is set so that lobies can first get into the Shadowlands and just access the uh, the gardens from here. I'm wondering if Ranrother is around. Yeah, it's it's meant to be Ran more Rother simple. Ranrother would be way in the northwest. He he patrols the area north of the Unredeemed Temple. Or the unredeemed uh, settlement. 
You go north from here, you uh, might have a chance to run into that huge ass spider. Actually, I, I I forgot which one I was going doubles for. I need double black ones. There's a huge ass spider around here. Ooh. Way north. Uh. I'm only finding white keys so far. Try killing the silver tails. I have been. They dropped nothing. You. Animal parts. You keep going like that, Aaron. You might as well just go to the Unredeemed Temple on foot. Yeah. Disease ridden rafter. I don't know. I've never seen this one before. Nope, they're there. That's actually um, normally the book that we had, the spec book, had to be has to be farmed, and usually this area oh. is where I would go to farm them up. Um, because you go because they they drop off of sighted mobs. So I would it would be the birdies. Um, that are in here, the temp terrace, the high temp terrace that are around with the rafters and stuff. Mm hmm. That's what tends to drop those spec books. Hey, yeah, there's a bunch of blue things. Can't blue dots. On. There we go. Here's some more white, white tails. Yes, because bot dots represent faction. Nah. And blue dots, I believe, represent omni faction or unredeemed because. The game fails to to really notice the difference anymore. <laughs> fails to notice shades of gray. Yeah, it's Hello, I, I'm so I, hip. <laughs> the uh, um, Shadowlands really lost the shades of gray feel that uh, uh, the original AO had. Yeah, he, le we, he we left are me using... to watch Aaron. Huh? He left me to watch Aaron. Yeah. Yes, we are using the um, we're using the Omni keys info because um, a Christer is sighted. He's Omni. Whereas the rest of us are neutrals. I can't. I I, find I, I will anything. be going back off the stream and getting the other side key because I like having all the keys. I like it. Yeah, I, 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 I would definitely do do that to get all of the keys. Keys is nice. Yes. Actually, I, I'm I'm okay with for streaming both sides of keys. Yeah. All right. Well, I have everything. Matt, how are you doing? I haven't found a single black key the entire time. I have killed dozens of bloody unicorns. Poor unicorns. All right, Matt, follow me. All right. Uh, Anyone else has been finding black keys? They've been taking any ones I've been looking I for. I found one, nope. and that got my number up to five. I don't need anything. All I need was one white key. Let's go. I'll help attack stuff. Nothing. Here's, here, here's Nothing. one. Matt, Matt. This way. This way. This, this. Over here. Come on. <laughs> and do this. Oh, come on, the corpse doesn't, doesn't uh, rot that fast. <laughs> oh, I found one! I found one! Over here. I found one. And here I was being told that the silver tails will have them. It's the higher up panther things. Usually it is, but I mean, they both drop both sides' keys. Yeah. Uh, the silver tails usually have a higher drop rate of the unredeemed side. So let's see what this one is. Ah, no, I'm I have now. another one right here. I'm finished now. I, those You're are finished? the two I needed. Okay, Yeesh. cool. Awesome. Well, you could help at least. <laughs> okay, right. now. Now, we're, you know, technically, <laughs> in theory, you're not supposed to even know about the gardens until you do the quest, but in practice, that's kind of stupid. So, let's use one of these keys. Oh. can find where my keys are and we'll take go into the garden of Thrak. Ooh, garden jumping. Yeah, I'm all for like live streaming both sides of the gardens. Come 
Come on. Because the quests are virtually identical, except for the uh, clan side, the their people treat you a lot nicer, if slightly patronizingly. Mm. Whereas Omni just basically treats you like, you know, you crawled out from under a rock. So... Actually, before we do anything else... What? See. Oh, save. You should probably save, too. Saving! Zero XP save. Yeah. Oh, hey, I was supposed to float up in the air and do all that fancy stuff? Except never. you don't have any XP to save. I no, I mean, XP like, I've, I've never gotten the animation for floating up in the air like that. Neither have I. And my fact, I didn't get it right then either. Anyway. All right. Give me a moment. Quest. Impatient people. Okay, so what we want is Brawl. brawl? I was trying to remember what exit it was, because uh, I, I know the clan side... Uh, Passage to the core. That's core. Crap, did I just choose the... I might have just had... I wasted a key. Don't follow me, because I went to core. Uh, are, are you guys doing a clan one first? Or no, doing we're doing one? Omni, so it's Brawl, which is the exit. I'm not worrying, because well, I'm Well, I'm actually, actually going to front the... Uh, there we go. Oh, sure, it is Here also. Brawl takes you right to the NPC you gotta talk to. Wait for Rand to get over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't wait for me. Okay. I went to click on something and clicked with my wrong finger, and now I'm I'm in the middle of someplace stupid. I can't get into Brawl. I click on it. I am. Oh, never mind. I was trying to use a key, goddammit. No, it. no, no key. Key is, key is only for the... You, the key is only out. for going in. God mm -hmm. damn it. Is this the man? Is this the one we seek? He's got well, big that's shoulders. The second, Blue that's name? the second NPC. Blue name, Prophet Mute. Yeah, we already, we, 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 I, we already, I think, talked to the original. Uh, check your, your text. Yeah, I, I, I didn't do that. Oh, you didn't do you? Yeah. yeah so I, I was like, I, I was, I, I was. None really of us have done this, Randy. We've not done anything of this mission yet. <laughs> I thought you guys did. No. We talked to her. Um, when her. we were going up. Uh... Well, I've got the options. I found this ancient device. I don't need any help from you. Yeah, you check your mission window. Do you have? You have agreed to find information. Yes. Yes. So we talked to the first NPC. So I'm right. Well, except Krister may not have, but we did. I got full per yeah, points I, I, I didn't, set I didn't service. Talk that's to all I got. We agreed to not do the quest uh, at the bit at that yeah, time. Yeah, that's all I heard nah. was we agreed not to do the quest. So I I didn't want to talk to him, so we could do that together. Uh, so now who do I need to talk to that I haven't talked to? Yeah, you need to. Oh God, this is <sighs> this is already cluster fucked already. Uh, actually, actually, <laughs> Matt. It's, it's not that hard. It just means that that's going to need more insignias again. Yeah. <sighs> I will wait here for people since I actually have the mission. Although I was yeah, using that, the that... insignias wrong before, according to Info Hit. <laughs> I uh, figured Matt, it out if, eventually. Matt, if you go back to, the go uh, back to the garden. And go out front to your uh, outskirts, yeah. You do that while I slowly walk my ass to brawl. Uh, frontier outskirts? Yes. I'll go, I'll pass you guys. <sighs> See, I thought we'd all done the first part and agreed no. not to go any further. That was never the agreement. I was never told of this plan. I don't know how I got the mission then. <laughs> I I, re I remember you reading the quest text. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't. thought every I I do. I well, thought I every everybody I, I thought everybody There, I got another black key now. This Although is I'm something we can find easily solve by going back and looking at previous streams, but not right now. 
Oh, right. oh, we did talk to her. I must have deleted it then because we waited so long on it. No, don't, it would. Don't. It's, it's actually 383 hours or something. Yeah, never delete Shadowlands <laughs> quests. I didn't know what quest it was for. It just isn't sitting there. I'm like, we're not doing anything with it. Gone. It's crowding up yeah. my already small mission window. You've underestimated Matt's efficiency. You mean inefficiency. No, efficiency, yeah, because I want a clean quest... window. I want to be able to actually see what I'm trying to do. You did this way too early. All right, guys. <sighs> anyway. Well, that's because we, we were going to do it and then decided not to at this time. We changed our minds after doing part one. I wanted to do this a while ago. That's just me. Wee! Come on, take guys, this Bye, guys. Man. Going on foot now. Yeah, I wound up in the wetlands. Jeez. Here's the bracer. What's down there? What's the rush? Yada, 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 walls and walls of dialogue. So, wh wait, what's going on? I'll see what I can do. He's go. He's he's abridging the quest text. But well, I'm not I, supposed to keep going on, am I? Not yet. Wait till okay. us. Okay. Wait for us to get there. I'm walking you? my ass there. So. Oh, you're talking about the the white-haired scientist or the the joke the, scientist, the scientist that was standing that we have out to in the middle of nowhere. Up. Yeah. Veronica Wee. Red, I think. Yeah. Veronica Blue. Or Reed or something like that. Veronica Escobar. Escobar. Reed must, be, <laughs> Reed must be the other side. Hmm. Either way. What's down here? I'm just wandering. I don't really know Goodbye. what I'm doing. You heard of that? Right, you agreed right. to find information. Yeah, I got the quest. I need to Ooh. find one more black key, and that shouldn't take too long off of these things, apparently. All right, so I already found this? one off of the first one. Poses no danger. Empty. Neutral to it. Uh -huh. White What's key. What's over here? You. What do you got? Don't you run from Actually, me. Actually, InfoHip says that he thought he saw the ancient device in Matt's stream yesterday in his inventory. Uh, I have the, yeah, I do have the ancient device. That's a little weird black thing, right? Uh-huh. Yep. I still didn't have the quest, though. It's dead, but it's not laying know. down. Ah, uh, there we are. Yep. I have the, I was just double-checking that I had the ancient device, too. There's one. It's basically what would become the uh, key. No. Only if, uh, it's nope, because you'll get to the key, us get the key. And you'll still have that, yeah. Yeah. Trust me, but the key I've got looks my, 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 like my that, 220 still has it in a bag. No, hmm. it's a little circular thing. Oh, okay. I thought you just filled that, that thing gets like filled with like an orange gel or something like that, and then it's filled with like a blue gel. Okay, now we need to go to Brawl. Yeah. yeah, bro, this way. Uh, Hang on, this I'm way. headed back. I was just exploring the gigantic ancient yeah. ruins here. That's fine. I'm still on foot. Boop. I'm still walking. Why I'm are you walking? Walk because I used the key I was going to use to go to Brawl, went to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the benefit of being able to uh, easy kill shit. Because mm -hmm. I have a chalice. Ah, oh, there you guys are. Come in. All right, starting to see the unredeemed mob. Huh. Somebody must have gotten pissed at Ranrother and killed him because I didn't see him <gasps> hanging around. There's another Aww. guy here. Hey, how's it going? Info <laughs> hip. Hi, info hip. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is this program <laughs> stream? Uh, by the way, uh, uh, info hip here is uh, I rock Rubica from yesterday. Yep. Oh, it's the orange suit. Sweet. Mm hmm. He's flashy. <laughs> I also like his floating ducky. Hello. Should probably All go right. to uh... actions. 
He's been lurking. <laughs> He's been watching what we've been up to. Entering the unredeemed city now. No, I don't see anything in the plant map. Greeting. I should probably say. Curtsy. That's right. I can't see anything on Yay. the PF map here. Actually. That's, that's ridiculous. Boop. Great. I have a proof of frack fine presence yeah. here in Nassens. Salute. Ow. Is that that looks like a ran. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sweet. There we go. I just had to go for a jog for my health. That elite health program you're involved in now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we talk to this guy. Yep. All right. And what he's going to want you to do once you're done with the text is basically go into the garden and talk to somebody else. Greetings, child of Frack. I found this ancient device. Let me have a look. Yes, I have seen these before. I need to know more about this ancient item. Can you help me? We have all kinds, Keep Caliber. The question is, how much are you willing to sacrifice to have them sa satisfied? Apparently, Yutthrak doesn't like you, Infohip. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to lose. What do you require? I don't like the sound of this. I guess the first option. Mm -hmm. Nothing to lose. So he lowers his voice. We will see mm -hmm. about that. Look around you. We were all chosen by the Sacred One. We now devote our lives to the cause and, to, and carry out his hallowed commands, whatever they may be. We are all the only ones who can show you the path to grandness. Those who, who's, those most decided of his, dedicated of his followers may be granted entrance into his garden and sanctuary. One may revive, one may receive incredible powers, one may even evolve beyond human comprehension but one may also be destroyed in the blink of an eye should the device decide you are not worthy. I'm prepared to follow every command and reap the benefits of my hard work. <laughs> <coughs> words, nothing but words. Show us proof of your devotion. Commit yourself to the sacred one. Bring me the mark of... Bring me the mark revealing his uh, existence here in Nassance. Now I'll leave. I have proof of Throck's divine presence here in Nassance. I mm -hmm. assume. And then you show him a sig, yeah. Uh, the black insignia? Yes. Yeah, yeah. for proof. He, he trusts me. You don't want to show him the white insignia. <laughs> <laughs> Be interesting, though. Actually, that is part of a plot line that happens in a later area of the Shadowlands. <laughs> It's how you summon uh, the certain uh, some of the some of the redeemed unredeemed bosses because you basically piss them off enough to show up. Well done, but you have much to prove before Thrax turns his attention your way. Travel to the statue raised in his glory and place the insignia by his feet. You sh will be granted passage to his garden. This is where you must continue your journey. Some, someone versed in what has once been may be able to tell you more about the ancient device. Now leave. Okay, hey, Stay in the shadows. <laughs> well, you're not staying in the All shadows right. very well. You're quite clearly in daylight. Yeah, it's <laughs> in the daylight. God dang it. All right. 
So I believe the next step is he tells you he tells you to uh, pop up into the garden and talk to his boss. Mm. Oh, I'm being oh, given a cup probably... of something. I have my research turned all the way up. Oops. Oh, I'm being sweet. given a steaming hot cup of enchanted coffee. <gasps> coffee. Enhanced coffee. Yes. Enhanced coffee. Enhanced. Should I drink I it now? Why I said enchanted. <laughs> uh, that, that's I, fine. I, I did. I, I, I <laughs> do need to. We do need to piece the coffee machine to get for for Aaron. We haven't done it yet, but it's it's <laughs> it's planned. Planned. Plans within plans. So Chris just said he already drank it. So let's drink up. Speed. Okay. Yeah. And I don't feel any faster. Well, actually, it gives you, um, if you get the right cup of coffee, it, it gives you a crit and some run speed. And uh, I think it gives you first aid as well. All right. So going into the garden? Yep. Whee! Using the key again, one of the insignias again to go into the garden. Yep. Boop. Yep. Okay. Statue, statue. Where is the statue? So we're supposed to come in here and leave a signia by a statue. It, ba it it basically just means use the use it like you normally use a uh, uh, a garden thing the way that we the way that we've been using them all day today. Well, all stream. Yeah, well, we I'm need still to looking for a statue. Out what statue. Yeah, it was right there in that same big room, just kind of in the northwest corner. Hey. It's the one we came out of brawl. Oh. So just go back into the garden then, basically. That's what I said. Yeah, you go back to the garden, and then you go over here. You want to talk to this NPC. Wait, what? Oh, God damn it! I'm following Matt. I, 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 I'm, I'm completely I lost as to what the hell is going on now. Matt, Matt, I'm behind you. Go south. He said, just said north. This I know. NPC. Yeah, there's oh, a guy. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, I magic. Yep, I mentioned him the first time we were in the garden. Mm-hmm. To remember where he was because he was going to be important later. Guess what? He's important. For the quest. Mm-hmm. You want me? I, I can read it here. At first, the hypnogogic pretends not to see you, but then he notices the artifact. You there? As you approach him, he points at the ancient device. How did you acquire that artifact? That's really none of your business, but make but make it worth my while, and I might tell you. Is that the or or it was found by a scientist close to Job Research Area? I just wanted the first one, so that's the one you said. Yeah. Yeah. How well, dare you? You will tell me right now, or I will have you regret ever talking to me. It and was then you have to do the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was found by the scientist and Job. So it is true, as it has been foretold, ancient Zahn technology has been recovered and once again returned to the devoted ones. Give me the artifact. I give it to him. Yes, this is a powerful artifact indeed. It claims the soul of feeble creatures if one knows how to release the dormant powers. Find out how how to utilize this ancient artifact and claim three souls in the name of Thrak. The hypnagogic unconsciously waves you away, whispering to himself, I must hurry. All the signs are in place. It is time. Time for us to act. Yes, I must let him, them know how. No, now. He suddenly notices you still standing there. What are you waiting for, chosen one? Leave at once. Take this insignia of Thrak. It will aid us in our journey to glory. Should I ask him what signs he's talking about? I Go will. ahead. What signs are you talking about? The signs are all over. They are showing us that the time has come, the time to set our grand plan in motion, staged for centuries upon centuries by the sacred ones, and there will be no mercy if we fail them, but the rewards when we succeed will be beyond comprehension. The hypnagogic turns around, busy preparing for the important events to follow. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hypnagogic is muttering to himself, not paying any attention to you. 
So basically, at this point, you come out uh, Frontier Bridge, um, and the Silvertail Field. You'll notice that there are some blue names Silver Field, Silver Tails. Ah, okay. Uh, and also, after speaking with that NPC, he he would give you an instig, uh, insignia for enter a garden as well. Mm -hmm. Beware. So if you had like um, had like two, then you see you have three now. Yeah. Frontier Bridge. Really wasn't to enter the garden. The key, I think it was the signia was to fill the. Uh, yeah, trade skill. The, the, yeah. the device. Yeah, you got to put the sig in the device. To turn it into a to fill it full of the orange goo, as Aaron called it. Although oh, okay. really, I think so it's we are to trade skilling. Are we trade skilling the device now? Yes, because it actually says so in the quest to do so. Okay. Release the power of ancients, yada, yada, yada. I have to reverse that. Strike it, reverse it. There we go. So now it is full of orange goo, as we can see. Ancient pattern anal analyzer favored by the chosen one. That's good, because uh, I can tell you, if you try to do both keys simultaneously, and you try to get both of the, uh, both of the things at once before you have one filled, uh, considering they're unique, it will uh, delete the second one you get, mm. leaving you kind of foobard. I had to start the quest over. Okay. So now. All right. The creatures. Lo the creature looks at you with wide eyes. Cover her eyes with the ancient device. The creature stops and studies you for a couple of seconds as you look through your backpack. You reach out to cover the eyes with the device, and then. Cover her eyes. The silver tail starts to change shape as soon as you place the device close to her eyes. All right. It looks like she's actually putting out. I know. I don't remember them actually putting out a poisonous gas or anything like that. Or is that oh, actually? Oh yeah. That that's they they've done that for a while. Yeah. I know they turn uh, green. Also, you go do this three times. In fact. Uh, considering I don't think Matt and I got the update for that, uh, I think we all have to do it three times, so we're gonna bottleneck a bit here. Alright, so, should I kill the cursed sil Silvertail then? Uh, be a, wouldn't be a bad idea to let it respawn. Yeah. Go! Kill the horsey! I think there's more yeah. blue ones back here. All it dropped was monster parts. Yeah, I remember having a hard time finding the blue named Silvertails. There are some, but if there's a lot of people doing the quest, it kind of they it, it bottlenecks here, which is why I'm not going to bother doing it tonight. That and I have to go to the temple. Also, it helps that um oh yeah, it actually looks like there's been several of them around here. Yeah, it looks I like see someone a lot else of dead ones. Done it. Remains of cursed silver tail, yeah. They go pretty much all the way back uh, to uh, where the spirit area starts. So, Swift he... Wind, Swifty, from Shira. Blue name oh, right yeah. here in front of me. Where are you? I'm to uh, keep coming this are. way, Matt. If I remember correctly, Swiftwind is like the Silvertail boss in this area, except he's not much of a boss. Aaron, yeah. hold on. Hang on. Ah, see you there. Running, running, Nothing. Running. No, they're not Nothing supposed to really hand. give you much for loot. The whole thing is just progressing the quest. Oh, yeah, all I got was monster parts off, off of that one. I didn't even bother to loot it. Loot it. Just loot it, then delete it. Oh. So the corpse will be gone. Yeah. I oh, have the no idea. The, the corpse doesn't uh, make the spawn any faster. Oh, here we go. Looks like a 
Wait, no. No, nope. if it's a white that's white a, name. Oh, white names won't do it. It has to be the blue name Silver Tails. It's because in my targeting article, it comes up. The name comes up as blue. Yeah, when, when it's blue, it's like an NPC, basically. Yeah. Um, we'll yeah, but the thing is, but like on, on the screen, it'll be white. But like in it, my targeting re targeting it, reticle, or it doesn't matter because it has it has to be the dreaming silver tails. Dreaming can, silver tail. Yeah, it cannot be the swift silver tails. Yeah, I think those have like uh, 10 minutes on time. Wow. Oh, I, I've only gotten one of them done. Then you need to do this three times. Uh -huh. But, but uh, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's already five minutes away. Yeah. And besides, we think the ones over here were killed first, so they should be repopping shortly. The fun part is, and the really stupid part about Funcom, is the fact that the Silver Tails are the functional mob for both sides of this quest. <laughs> the exact same Dreaming Silver Tails that we're bottlenecking on now. Yeah, so like so if you're doing so, both so, quests. No, not e not even that. If you have a team of clan and a team of Omni doing it at the same time, they're going to be fisticuffs it, over trying to get the blade silver tails. Yeah. I hear Bucky snoring inside his box. <laughs> snoring in the box. Yes, yes. Our cat snores at human levels. It's quite disturbing. Okay, yeah. uh, there's a respawn. Okay. Over here. Yep, it, repop there. You run a little bit north, guys. That's normal. Um, I, I, yeah, I know. Matt, Matt, if you follow me, there's an NPC uh, over here. Oh, okay, there it is. Yes. And then you keep going north after doing that one. Oh, I found one. Got a rise of agent uh, device. I found a bunch of them now. Yeah. Cover her eyes with the device. Um, so once this is done, you uh, take a SIG, pop it back into the garden, go talk to our uh, hypnagogic friend again. I think you hand him the device, and he will give it back along with a garden key and a level's worth of experience. Yeah, pretty much. You got that one, Matt? I'll go over here. I've gotten two of them down so far, yeah. Yeah, I've got two of them. I, I just like saw that other blue one. Somewhere out here. Oh, here's and... another one. You got it. And so... um. You're not going for this one here, Matt? Okay. No, I okay. got one right here. Do, do, do. I don't know if Krister is yeah. actually doing this right now or if he's actually uh already done it. Or if he or if he's still trying to get stuff out of the temple or not. Uh yeah, I'm actually just gonna leave the quest at the end so okay. I can Oh actually, uh Aaron, I just happened to think we need to turn on our XP yet. I did already. Oh. I, I turned off my uh, research as well. And I've got someone else commenting on my channel. Disable. Hello, Troll Hammer. Or, uh, yeah, Troll Hammer. Yeah, because I basically want to go into the temple, see if I can get Sweet. the Garden Tank over. Um, okay, that's great. Um, when you go in Sweet. there, mind if I tag along to grab yeah, the shoulder yeah. pads? Yeah, that's yes, fine. We are, playing we, a, we are playing a pretty old uh, game. Pretty old MMO, but uh, it's one that I don't think a lot of people really either know about or <clears> have tried playing themselves so that they can get a good look at it. Again, or Aaron, you're calling me old. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's old in MMO terms. In the video game terms, it's not grandpa, but it sure as hell ain't the newborn. 
<laughs> I mean, you got to remember, this thing is, is approaching its 20th anniversary. Uh, yeah, Trollhammer yeah. used to play. Trollhammer apparently used to play this one, and he uh, apparently he or she quite uh, played it quite obsessively. Apparently, so they're they're familiar with this one. So everybody does, and uh, mm -hmm. it, and this game sucks people in, and you will not be coming. You know, you don't come back. You know, are we or going back to back. the garden then? Are we all done? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in, yeah. Turn it in. Okay. And uh, once you're done, come out front to your outskirts because that's going to be the fastest way to grab the uh, redeemed quest. Something okay. Christer doesn't have to do with us. All right. So. He's the filthy, dirty Omni. Back to the hypnogogic. And yes, Christer, I'm going to keep calling you that constantly on the stream. Oh, I like this. But they don't worry. Mark... I, 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 if Ed's on us and I talk about his other tunes, I pretty much say "filthy, dirty clanner" too. So, they, well, they I, actually, I, actually, I, actually a clan is supposed to be the good guys in the story, at least. Yes, but I'm new. Well, the original story, it was gray. And should, it, it should it, remain if that you, way. If to you be look, honest. if you looked at, if you looked at Philip Ross, anyway, the CEO of Omnitech back in the beginning, he had good ideals i mean the the the, the thing with the omni they, they had good um <clears throat> uh he wanted to All be right. good but i um, claimed the souls you commanded mm -hmm. is that so i mm -hmm. did feel a massive surge of power but i must inspect the artifact <clears throat> before i can decide whether you have deserve a reward or not Ah, there we go. Now we have the key of Garden of Thrak. Uh -huh. Good. I forgot what it looked like. Uh, but yeah, Patrolhammer says that uh, it was my first MMO. Uh, I got that special place in my nostalgia. And then Info Hips, it seemed I don't have fun playing any other MMOs because of this game. And Trollhammer is, I have fun on, in Legion now. It's quite well put together. So, of Legion. course, talking about the new uh, World of Warcraft Legion expansion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, we, we play other MMOs, too. I mean, I we played World of Warcraft a bit. I play Star Trek Online. Oh, for, yeah, the, for the first month was... of Legion's release, there was no stop of all the good people and good press and everything, and now you can be hardly bothered to find anyone who cares anymore. And... Well, we, for a while there, we were playing uh, World of Warcraft. We were doing a uh, live stream called the An Hour of Wow a Day, which you can still find on my YouTube channel. And... Um... But yeah, and then when it was running, we were huge City of Heroes players at the time. Where are we um, going? Old Frontier? Frontier Outskirts, okay. Frontier, frontier Outskirts, yes. Okay. And then Head East. Head East. All right. Going to do the other key quests for Nascence. STO is fun, but rather flood. I love the space combat, according yeah. to Trollhammer. Yeah, the space combat's really why you stay for it. The ground combat was meh. I mean, it started crap and went to meh, but it really was never anything impressive. Um, that, but I, one thing I liked about Star Trek Online is I loved their story writing. So I, I'm, you know, I'm not a diehard player, but every time they have a new season, I go and I play the new adventures and then I stop playing again. I'm sorry, nothing still holds a candle to see here so far. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it was City Coh was the first game where I realized I didn't, I didn't have to make my character just the way that I was. I needed, I could make it, um, I could make it a character and write short stories about it and do other things. So, which made it kind of fun. Uh huh. Coh but, was good. Was God tier? Sad they ended it. According to Trollhammer. Yeah, it was. Coh was unbelievably cool game. It was. Uh, all right, so we're going into I, I, the garden. This way, this way. No, 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 not garden, not garden. This way, follow, follow Sorry, Christian. Okay. I was yeah, just about ready I was to wondering, I was wondering that. why you were suddenly stopping. I'm like, no, we need to talk to somebody yet. You, 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 oh, you, yeah. you, you got distracted talking to your viewers, and I'm forgot my... where you were. I like to I'm show my... my viewers live. Yes, but you got to remember planet. where you are and what you're doing. <laughs> So yeah, this, might... this, this is Donna Red, who I swear they were thinking Donna Reed when they created her name. Um, what were you trying to say, Krister? Might not have been a clanner, uh, but I'd done this quest because I 
neutral. <laughs> Hi there, I'm pleased to meet you. Actually, this should be one uh, for yeah. Andre. Hi there, I'm pleased to meet you. And then... She's got like, I'm pleased to meet you. I hate Donna. <laughs> Telling Donna your name would be expected formal response, even though she most likely already sees it on your holographic display. <laughs> and Christopher's just waving. <laughs> then I am pleased to meet you, Racy. Her sincere smile would make anyone relax in her presence. Scientist Donna Red, is there anything I can find? Can I? I can do for you. I'm wondering why we were required to wear this bracer, right? Uh -huh. Or what are you doing here? I always ask why you're required to wear the bracer. Okay. The bracer registers mutations in your DNA, so it is important to monitor the data on a frequent basis. We must be able to act quickly if there's an unexpected increase in the spontaneous mutation frequency, both to prevent and to repair undesirable results. On the subject, she blushes a bit, then corrects herself. The subject would be you, of course. What are you doing here? I'm assessing the effects of environmental contaminants on biological resources. The threat of unexplainable contaminants in Rubica to Rubica wildlife is being evaluated by data synthesis and field activities. I'm coordinating the field activities here in Nascence on behalf of the Global Environmental Movement and Animal Rights Organization's Eco Warriors. <laughs> what can you tell me about Nascence or how can the environment just here in Nascence? Keep, uh, just your choice. Keep, just okay. Keep Nascence. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, uh, Trollhammer, this isn't, uh, well, this is our first live stream of a run through uh, Shadowlands. Um, but we have been through here a little bit uh, a long time ago. I don't think Matt or I have been subscribed to um, Anarchy Online uh, since like for like six years now. We've mostly Thereabouts. played on fr on Frub accounts. Mm -hmm. So, this so we is haven't our... been to Shadowlands in a long time. Yeah. So and I'm kind of excited because I've never gotten really, I hardly got into Elysium, and so I'm really interested to see how much further we can go with this. Mm -hmm. So it'll be it'll be pretty cool. All so, right. So, okay. Anyway. All right. So not much. I'm. Uh, what can you tell me about Nasons? Not much, I'm afraid. <clears throat> In my expeditions, I have heard rumors, not very reliable information. In ancient symbols here. Refer to someone standing close to the divine, but they do not reveal much about his or hers whereabouts, nor do they tell us more regarding the divine entity. All right, so what kind of rumors or? Yeah, That's where I'm going. All right, what kinds of rumors? I've heard a settlement has been found east of here. The settlement was supposed to be inhabited by beautiful creatures. Uh, caring for the balance in nature, but the only thing I found was the brink and the swamp. Then most creatures here, there honestly don't fit that description. So tell me of the symbols. Yep. Uh, they refer to someone well versed in the past. Uh, his title would be directly translated Scipius. The one close in touch with the divine entity is referred to as an ecclesiast, but these are all directly translated titles and my knowledge of the ancient alphabet is limited so please keep our a margin for errors what can you tell me about the brink we well the brink can be found north of here but since seismic readings from that area are not reliable you would be wise to keep away the brink is very is the very edge of these lands but i have reached the conclusion that something is causing the edge to dissolve let me take a drink of water here quick. <laughs> 